Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're all doing great. So today's reading is going to be for Divine Soulmate Connections where the masculine is involved in a karmic situation. I have done uh, a video recently um, for feminines who are in a karmic um, situation or relationship. So you might want to check that out if you feel like you are in that particular situation and if you haven't seen it already. And yeah, so let's get into this. I don't think I have much to say other than the usual. This is going to be general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. That is perfectly okay. It can't resonate every single time. And yeah, if you'd like a personal reading, you can check out all that information in the description box. And do keep in mind, I do have a $10 discount going on until the 20th of November for the basic reading and the extended readings, okay? So from the prices that you see listed um, in the description box, it's $10 off of that. All right, so let's get into this. Let's see what is going on. So we're going to start with the masculines as usual. What do we need to know about the masculines for this week? And we have number 16. All right, and again, I don't remember exactly which one this is. Um, I do have a feeling though, but let me just check to make sure because it doesn't have the keywords on them. Expedition. Yeah, so this is all about um, moving forward, trying out something new. Um, finding inspiration to move in a new direction, all right? Um, it, it even says if you've been stifling your need for freedom for a long time, you could feel a bit giddy at the prospect of doing exactly what you want. Okay, so the masculine at the moment is um, who is involved in a karmic relationship or situation at the moment is feeling very, very um, driven towards something new, not wanting to feel stuck, wanting to feel free. All right, and for a lot of them, this could actually be um, an energy that they are actively partaking in. But let's get a couple more oracle cards here. Let's see what else. What else do you need to know about the masculines here? Who we have walking away. All right, and we almost had Angel of Balance pop out as well. So yeah, definitely um, finding a sense of balance from within in order to be able to walk away. I mean, these two cards together, that's like a killer combination here, representing um, what's going on with the masculines. So yeah, you know what? I actually want to get just, just one or two more from this deck. I just love this deck so much. I can't, it's, it's hard not to use it. So let's see, what else? Because this is already looking really positive. All right, so we have patience and we have mask. Okay, so, so the issue here is that, yeah, they are in this energy of wanting freedom, right? Walking away from a particular situation. I do feel definitely that this is referring to the karmic situation, okay? Because it's, it's positive and it would not be positive, positive for them to be walking away from their divine counterpart at the moment. So there is patience here, okay? Patience is required even on their end. It's like they're, they're feeling very, as the book said, giddy <laughs> about this, but they're kind of having to hold a little bit back. And I feel like the reason why is because there's still a bit of that mask that they are wearing. Um, there's still a little bit of a concern to, you know, how they will appear and not even that for some of them it could even be to their own self the mask that they are wearing to their own self what it is that they had convinced themselves of so it is still taking a little bit of time but they're definitely in that energy okay for this particular group that we are um tapping into so let's get into the details here let's see the masculine's energy towards their karmic partner or situation Yeah, I feel like it's also like an adjustment period where in order to be able to fully act on this um, expedition and walking away, it will require them to fully remove their mask that they have been wearing, right? The fake persona that they have been presenting to that karmic situation or to, you know, just their general lives. And that can oftentimes feel... Um, very, very vulnerable, like, you know, really fully exposing yourself. 
like stripping down, like being naked, basically. So that's what's taking a little bit of time here. So let's see. All right, we have the Hanged Man in reverse, the Seven of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, yeah, so this is definitely um, wanting to come out of stagnation, right? Um, just like that very first card was saying, um, they've felt stifled or stagnant, not, not having their freedom, being stuck in that, just hanging, not doing anything. All right, so the Hanged Man is here in reverse. It's like wanting to break out of that, wanting to take off those chains that have been holding them, um, holding themselves there, basically. But with the Seven of Swords, it's like, yeah, there's still um, this essence of, I almost want to say guilt. I know this is not the guilt card, but that's what I'm getting here. Because it's giving them this essence. See how there's that, there's a fox in this image. It's like feeling like they're being sneaky, feeling like they're, By getting unstuck that it's like stealing, like stealing something away from the from the karmic situation. However, it doesn't really matter. This is just like little bumps in the road at the moment because they're with this three of pentacles being in reverse, they're feeling like they just cannot um, coexist in that particular situation anymore. They cannot um, collaborate with that with that situation or this could even be like a breaking of a contract. So let's just get one more row here for what they might be thinking and feeling. All right, we have Judgment, the Two of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords in reverse. Yeah, huge wake-up call here. Um, they're thinking like they just, they, they feel like they want to be reborn, especially having this Judgment card right under the, the Hanging Man, which is in reverse. Wanting a rebirth, wanting things to just be new in their, in their life overall. Um, I'm even getting, it's like, this image of them wanting to take a horn and just blow it, <laughs> like literally, and announcing how it is that they feel. Again, because they felt so stifled. All right, so yeah, and it's, um, it's also the universe having really shaken them up here, which is a little bit difficult for them to handle, all right, with the two of pentacles. Um, and I do feel like they're feeling like that, that walking away, right, with the Seven of Swords, like I said, it almost feels to them like, um, again, I'm just getting that, we are going to clarify some of these, but I'm getting that there's a little bit of guilt here, feeling like sneaking away from this, like leaving someone else at a loss, which to them is what is difficult to um, really balance out or cope with. All right, I feel like that is what their challenge is. And they're feeling um, like the whole situation is a challenge. The whole situation cannot be brought into balance. There's a lot of storminess in the atmosphere between them and, and the situation or the karmic partner. And what I'm getting here with the Six of Swords being in reverse, they're feeling like whatever this... this um, this conflict or whatever it is that is so difficult to fully manage within this connection, it's like it cannot be resolved. It cannot move towards calmer waters. So at the same time, there is a little bit of holding on to the past here. Okay, I'm not going to lie. It is a little bit of holding on to that, like still kind of hesitating a little bit to walk away. Although the energy, as I said, it is, it is there. All right. But mostly what I'm getting here, yeah is that they feel like they cannot go back to that Three of Pentacles, to working together. I feel like um, also with this card, um, the Masculines had been waiting for there to be consent, like for this to be like a mutual um, decision. And it's like 
now realizing that that it, it might never be it might never be mutual they cannot both mutually agree to walk away and to just leave this in the past so because of that it is the masculine who has to blow that horn um so let's yeah, you know what, before we clarify, let's just get a couple of cards just to see um, what their energy is towards their Divine Feminine. Alright, so let's see. So we have the Page of Wands in reverse, the Page of Swords, and Temperance. Okay. So at the moment, it's like they're not having a lot of motivation or they're not taking much initiative towards you. Although I feel like they are um, keeping an eye on you definitely with that Page of Swords. Definitely very interested in what might be going on with you. We are going to clarify that temperance card, um, but it feels like they're being patient, basically, which is what one of the cards that we got here. They're being patient when it comes to walking away. However, being in that energy, I just want to keep stressing that because the very first two cards, it's like they're both saying pretty much the same thing. Um, but I feel like they're just being patient when it comes to fully taking some kind of an in initiative when it comes to either communicating with you or whatever the next step would be, okay, for your particular situation here. But let's get one, one more row here. Yeah. The Ace of Pentacles in reverse, the Six of Pentacles in reverse, and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like for some of them in this group, they, they may have even lost hope um, when it comes to you. They do, they are very much in that energy of walking away from the karmic, but at the same time, not really sure if things are going to work out with you from your end, basically. And so yeah, at the moment, they're just not not taking practical steps, not really fully seeing the new, um, you know, offering you a new kind of a path here in the 3D, right? And especially also with the Six of Pentacles being in reverse, it's like holding back, right? They're not giving, they're not giving to this, all right? However, we do have the Ten of Pentacles, and this Ten of Pentacles is right under, right under Temperance. So they are still wanting this Ten of Pentacles with you, which is upright, which is the commitment, long-term um, stability, marriage even. They're just not sure how you um, would receive that. And for others of them, maybe they know, um, but they are still holding back at the moment. They're still being patient for that. And, you know, even though they're not giving energy to this connection at the moment with their divine feminine, they are still very interested in what is happening with you. All right, so a lot of them could be following you um, either secretly or just, you know, in any, in any way, basically. All right, so let's, um, let's see, what do we want to clarify here? Actually, I think I can move them over. Yeah, let's clarify that first row, especially the Seven of Swords. All right, so we have the Eight of Cups, the King of Swords, and the Knight of Swords. Wow. That's a lot of determination to take action and walking away. I mean, it just keeps coming up. It 
it just keeps coming up. And I do feel like there's a lot of restlessness with that. And again, like I feel like um, there's restlessness, right? There's a bit of, it's like there's impatience, but they're feeling like they have to be patient at the same time because they're really struggling to take off that mask, as I said. It's also coming in as this, um, because they're all swords, basically, except for this Eight of Cups, which is like really representing the walking away. Um, the rest of them are swords in this combination here. So I really feel like, you know, there's a lot of thinking about this. It's a lot of mental energy being put into that, that walking away. Um, I mean, like really wanting to come out of that stagnation, wanting to come out of that hanging man, that Knight of Swords, and, and very, very, like... <laughs> Quickly as well. Um, yeah, I don't know what has happened here that has pushed this group of masculines over the edge. But let's see the bottom row, especially that two of pentacles. Yeah, three of wands, six of wands, and the tower all upright. Um, yeah, so again, I mean, this is. This is why patience is coming in here. Um, a little bit of holding off, even though they're very determined to be successful at this. They're very determined to have this um, tower, pretty much, which is like that ending, you know, to just pretty much be the ending of this situation, right? And they want it, they want it to happen in a way where it's going to be once and for all, like it's going to be successful. Because for some of them, they may have taken steps in the past only to go back, only to not be able to follow through with it. This time they're really wanting to be um, successful at it. And I feel like that's another reason why they're being patient. And that is something that is um, concerning to them at the moment and might be a little bit difficult to handle is the fact that, you know what, it's like they're saying, I don't want to do this only to go back. So I just have to make sure that I do it in exactly the right way in order for the tower to actually fall this time. And I feel like that is part of their wake up call. That is the revelation that they're having is that, you know, this time it has to be all or nothing, basically. And so it's like they're holding out so that it can be that all, not the nothing, <laughs> right? Or not semi. So yeah, for their energy towards their feminine, let's see. I wanna see temperance in that top row, but just anything that wants to come through overall about that top row. Okay, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse again, second time, and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, so it, they are being patient. They're being patient because um, when it comes to, you know, that new path with the feminine, I'm almost even getting that they feel like they need to protect the connection with you. Um, Yeah, see, it's all about them being patient because they, they cannot come forward too soon because if they come forward too soon and that tower has not fallen just yet, it could just, you know, throw things off. Again, it's like they feel like it needs to be like complete. It needs to be 100% victory. It needs to be 100% success before coming through. So I really feel like they're doing this, um, not coming forward to you, so that it can be, um, so that as a way of protecting the connection. So if they're holding back, that's why they're holding back at the moment. I mean, maybe you are in communication, all right? Because we do, we do have that page of swords, which is about communication. But I do feel like it is minimal um, for most of you. Or, you know, whatever, the way that they are approaching you or the way that your interaction is, I feel like it is minimal because um, it's a way of protecting the connection. Uh, let's see. Let's just get one for the bottom row. Just anything. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles in reverse. I mean, it's the same messages that keep coming forward. Not, not really putting energy into this. Not putting um, much 
focus on the connection with you because I feel like right now it's what's really taking over is them wanting to gain their freedom and walk away from the karmic situation okay it's just very very simple very plain and simple um, so yeah let's see what's going on with the feminines in this group and again you know maybe some some energies might resonate with you others might not Just take whatever makes sense. Let's see. Let me use the about the feminines. And I actually, I don't know why we're not getting a card. Um, I actually might do like a couple extra readings um, very soon. Um, just looking into the karmic, the karmic situation or just looking into more specific groups of you we'll see all right so for you we have the number nine okay and i believe this is happy place um yeah that's the key word of this card is happy place so i feel like what you're you're doing is you're really trying to find that place within yourself that can give you happiness just trying to really be happy on your own within your own self this card really does remind me of um sometimes the nine of pentacles as well as the Ten of Cups, but I see it more of being on an individual basis. And we also have Sixth Chakra, Archangel Metatron. Yeah, okay, so that would be the Third Eye Chakra. So yeah, if you're, a lot of you might be meditating. You might be meditating more, you might be getting visions or using visualizations to get yourself to feel that balance um, from within and getting to that happy place. Um, if you're not and you're feeling quite the opposite, then take this as as guidance for you. All right, so just a couple more, just to keep it even, get the same amount as we got for the masculines. All right, so for, we got one extra. We have awakening, balancing the scales, and recognition, all right, wow. Wow, and in combination with that sixth chakra and happy place, awakening, <laughs> you, uh, the feminines are really going through um, an ascension process right now. You are awakening. You know, we oftentimes get some, you know, like, we, have to, we can get some negative cards sometimes um, for the feminine, so there's more guidance that comes through, but for <laughs> today's reading, I feel like, you know, for this group, there's really not much to say. You're you're awakening. You are really um, finding that peace and happiness within your own selves, balancing yourselves. And I feel like this is also about you closing out your own karmic cycles in your lives with other issues, not not with your with your masculine. And that is helping you to find that that balance within yourself and that a more peaceful state. And especially also with recognition, obviously, I feel like you're just recognizing a lot of things, like just waking up to a lot of things that are happening for you um, within your own self and within your own within your own life. And it's interesting because the other message I'm getting here is that um, you recognize this connection for what it is. You're not in denial of it. All right, because we can oftentimes go through a phase where we're in denial of it and just like it's done, like it's so yeah, and maybe it is done, you know, that's a different story. But I feel like you fully accept and you fully recognize the nature of this connection and you accept it for what it is. And that is what's important here is that you are able to find that balance and that happiness within your own self, even though at the same time you recognize this as a divine soulmate connection. Whereas in the past, some of you, or you know, um, maybe maybe everyone at some point, um, it's like they can't hold those two energies at the same time. It's like in order for me to feel happy, I have to feel like this is not a divine soulmate and that it's done and that it's over and that it's never happening. Otherwise, I if I admit you know that that this connection is what it is, I can't be happy. You're not in that space. You're not in that space. You, you're be able to embody both. That's why we have that balance and that's your awakening that, hey, you know what, like I can hold on to what I know to be true about this connection, 
but I can still be happy. Even though I don't have this person in my life. So yeah, I feel like that is actually pretty um, pretty intense, pretty amazing. So you know what, I'm not even going to get any um, tarot cards for the feminines. I feel like that's pretty thorough, pretty complete for what, what wants to come through in today's reading. Um, I think we did get a bit more for the feminines energy in the previous reading last week. So if you want, you can check that out if you haven't already, if you want more um, messages for the feminines. So let's... Let's get just a couple oracle cards to close this reading out. And if it resonated, please do give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, or let me know. <laughs> and I just had milk and honey fly out. Like seriously, this is like the best reading ever. Um, this group, like wow. Yeah, this is um, like that 10 of cups, right? It's that happy place. I feel like this is everything just being where it needs to be. There's a lot of nurturance that is happening right now in your, in your connection. And not only in your connection, but for each of you individually as well. All right, this really just talks about um, everything being in alignment, things moving in a very, very positive direction here and moving towards peace and happiness, basically. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, I thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will be back very soon. Much love.